Yeah, man. Hey, hey. <laughs> why am I speaking like that? I have no idea why I'm speaking like that. But anyway, good morning, babies. Good morning. Hold on, let me put the background music on. I am. <clears throat> I don't know if I should say sleepy, but goddamn, today is cold. Listen, I already have the heater on. I already have the heater on. It is still cold. I still feel like sleeping because of how cold it is. Ah, uh -huh. uh, good morning, baby. Buongiorno. Oh, yo, you guys are learned. Buongiorno. Nice. Very nice. <clears throat> Man, my nerves are clogged. I am freezing cold. I just wanna get in bed and keep on sleeping. Like, today is such a great day to sleep. There is no sun, outside it's cold. Probably... I don't know, how actually, hold on, let me check. Well, let's know. Meteo... <clears throat> Today there's only 5 degrees. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday are gonna rain. And Tuesday, there's gonna be a little bit of snow. At least that's what the forecast says. Tuesday, there's gonna be a little bit of snowing and a little bit of raining. Not completely snow, but not completely raining either. Like, we're gonna reach zero degrees on Sunday. Monday, we're gonna reach minus one degree. And Tuesday, we're gonna reach minus five degrees. So, yeah. It is very cold. I really wanna sleep. <laughs> For you, it's usually Buonasera. Nah, not really. As long as I just wake up, it's a buongiorno. <laughs> Good morning on my way home and trying to hear my attention taken. A attendance taken. Are you? Bad girl. Attendance to what? Okay, bien ting bien. Bien ting bien suasam. Of course you can, baby. Always. Of course you can. <laughs> I learned a new word from a teacher because of my missing <laughs> Kula, oi! <laughs> Don't say that, that means ass. That means ass. Kulo means ass. Can't do what you like. Ah, oh, baby. Good evening, Pajimara. I feel sick today, but I will try to do my best with any. Ah, oh, baby. If you're sick, you can, and you can take a rest. <laughs> but once I get to the live, let's know. Oh, baby, nice. But yeah, today what are we going to learn? Today we are going to learn. Nya, 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 nya. <laughs> Those are the sounds in Italian that usually are quite cute. I think you guys are gonna enjoy them. Ah. Yeah. Ah, cool. Uh, so cool, uh, maybe can use put so <laughs> <laughs> Come on, shush, Anna. <laughs> no more, no more. Ina, hold on, I'm you. Okay, hold on, give me a second. Me, yeah, you're acting up. So, having said that, today we are going to learn the nya 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 For example, you want to learn about the nya 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 Instead of saying no, you can say nya. Oh, fuck you, little baby. She just scratched my stomach. That that hurt. <laughs> Ouch. Okay, hold on. Let me pull out the chat on my phone. Oh, why is my phone volume so high? That scared the shit out of me. But yeah, today I have prepared something. Usually that I don't have prepared. Which is this little thing here. Can you see that? This is like a little text. Yeah. Well, it's going to show you guys a little bit of verbs and everything else. And of course, the words we're going to learn today. Vedo un ragno nel suo regno, che lavora con impegno, un agnello sulla montagna e un gnomo che fa il bagno, un cigno nello castagno. What does that mean? I see a spider in his reign, which he is working. How do you say impegno? That he is hardworking. Un agnello sulla montagna. A little lamb on the mountain. 
è un gnomo che fa il bagno. A dwarf that is taking a bath con un cigno nello stagno. Beve goose in the pond. My turtle gave me scratch yesterday, so. <laughs> What are we? What am I teaching you? I am teaching you about the nya 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 nya, the sounds, the Italian sounds of nya 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 nya. Level one, two, and then just a moment. It's not really that difficult. It's just a little poem. It's very, very simple. <coughs> so just remember, when you have G N, the sound turns into nya, nya, yeah, nya. When does G N? The sound turns into ny. So as you guys already know how the uh the alphabet, not the alphabet. The vocal sounds, which is a, e, i, o, u, it turns into ny, 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 ny. Oh, this is very bad. You know, you guys are so. Let me feel like sleeping. <laughs> oh baby, any difference? Yes, there are difference. Remember the vocals a e i o u. Yeah, you have the nya. It turns into nya, nye, ni, nyo, and nyu. Yeah, the nyo is not a nya, of course. <laughs> nya, too much will feel sleepy. Example nya 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 nya. Listen, it's gonna be difficult for you guys as you never heard it, but I think it's probably <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> sorry. Oh. Hey, my nose are not clogged anymore. But yeah, we guys are gonna be a little bit uh, difficult, but just think of it. Uh, think of it like the Japanese nya 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 nyo nyo. Yeah. It's the same. It is pretty much the same. The same. Nya, nye, ni, nyo, new. Pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. Pretty much. Pretty much. That is it. Thank you, guys. So what is that? Are you flirty? But yeah, this is quite. It's going to be quite simple. Today we're going to have the most difficult part. It is. We're going to look at this little poem him. So let's break it down, shall we? Vedo is from the verb vedere, which is seeing, but it turns into vedo. Vedere just means to see. Yeah, vedo means I'm seeing, like I am seeing right now. Vedo is presente, e sotto un teso, the it's subtle, it's under there. That it means me, because. Conjugation, uh, conjugation in Italian, the verb, the conjugation verbs in Italian are io vedo, tu vedi, e i vede, noi vediamo, voi vedete, essi vedono. So in every conjugation, for every person, it's different. The conjugation for every person is different. Vedo is the first person. Singular present, which is present in this moment. Singular only means one person. First person means I. So, io vedo. <clears throat> you spoke too fast. I lost you. <laughs> is it still too fast? No, no vedo. Ve vedo. Vedo un ragno nel suo regno. I see. Hold on. Maybe I can. Where is my pen? There we go. There's my pen. I. Oh, where is it? Okay. I see a spider in his rain. It's not really that difficult. Vedo, I'm seeing. Yes, I am seeing. Vedo, vedo means I am seeing. I see. What's it down? No, 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 no. I see. 
I see is like, I should say that's English. The English one is kind of、uh, kind of weird, but it doesn't really mean that in this kind of scenario. I see a spider in his frame. 我看我在看啊，我看到一个蜘蛛在他的国王国家里面。国家<笑> ？I have no idea how to translate that one. Is it still far too fast for you guys? <laughs> Am I still going way too fast for you guys? Do I need to go slower? What is the last one? Rain. Rainio. It means rain. How do I say? Not the rain that falls from the sky. The rain as in country, the world, your kingdom. Rain in Mandarin. Let me see. Ah,、oh. give me Google Translate. Tong Zi, Zai Wei, Cao. Zhao. Oh, Zhao, <laughs> not Zhao. Kingdom, yeah. And then so it's a little bit more of your kingdom, because what is the kingdom of a spider? It's a spider web. The period of rule of a monarch. Google. All right. That works. Vedo un ragno nel suo regno che lavora con impegno. Un agnello sulla montagna è un gnomo che fa il bagno con un cigno nello stagno. So, what does that mean? Pretty much, it's just describing everything that is in this picture. Vedo un ragno nel suo regno. I see a spider in his kingdom. In his reign, che lavora con impegno, which is hardworking, with、uh, in his kingdom. Yeah, he's making the spider world. He's doing real hard work. He's making it come true. Un agnello sulla montagna e lo lamb on the mountain. So here's the lamb on the mountain. È un gnomo che fa il bagno. And a dwarf that's taking a bath, concigno nello stagno, with a goose in the pond. So the goose is taking a bath with the dwarf. It's pretty much just narrating everything that is in the picture. What is Regno? Uh, you can call it just a kingdom. You can just call it a kingdom. I wouldn't really say it's a dynasty, though. You just think of it as a kingdom. Can you translate line by line? All right. Uh, so vedo un ragno nel suo regno. I think you guys already got that. I see a spider in his kingdom. Yeah. Ruled a 王国。蜘蛛 ，What is that? Hold on, guys. Sorry. I need Google Translate for this one. 蜘蛛王。Yeah, exactly. No, it's not deep. Un regno,、uh, it's a rule, a ruling, a kingdom. It's not just a plot of land. It's not just a place. It is a kingdom you rule over, a place where you are the top, a place where it belongs to you and you only. Yeah. So regno, 
does that mean? This is a poem. This is a little like it's a it's a very simple poem, by the way. It's a very very simple poem. Vedo un ragno nel suo regno. This is just a metaphor, saying that the spider web is its kingdom. That's why we say it's regno instead of spider web, because I see a spider on the spider web. Doesn't sound very poetic, now, does it? <laughs> So yeah, vedo un ragno nel suo regno. This means uh, I see a spider in its kingdom. Che lavora con impegno. Which is working, which is hard working. In con impegno just translate to how do I translate con impegno? Hmm, that's very interesting. Because I don't really think there's an English translation for that. The commitment. It's not really commitment, but I guess you could translate that. It's pretty much just like you're working hard, you're really trying to do your best. And I shall shit. It's okay, baby. It's just try your best. But it's pretty simple. Don't panic. Just look at it world, word by word. Vedo, I see, un ragno, a spider, nel suo regno, in his kingdom, che lavora, which is working, con impegno, with commitment. Let's just go with Google translation. Un agnello, sulla montagna, a lamb, which we are here, by the way, un agnello, sulla montagna, a lamb, on the mountain, è un gnomo che fa il bagno, and a dwarf that is taking a bath, con un cigno nello stagno, with various in the pond. Yeah, it's a very sim it's very very simple. Don't panic. Don't try to read all of it at once. Go slow, one at a time, break the sentence into two places. Learn the subject. Who is the subject of the first sentence? Vedo un ragno, io vedo un ragno, I see a spider. I am the subject, I see a spider in his kingdom. Che lavora con impegno, which is working with commitment. Un agnello sulla montagna. By the way, it is still I because those sentences have never stopped. So the subject it is still I. I still see, I am still seeing a lamb on the mountain and a dwarf, which is baby, which is baby, and a goose in the pond. Yeah? Are you guys able to follow up, kinda? I don't expect you to learn all about it because at the end of the day, this is just a small introduction to what you guys are probably gonna learn in the future. As for now, for today's lesson, of course, we're gonna learn about nya, nye, nye, nyo, nyo, yeah? So if you really can't follow up, it's totally fine. All you need to do is just remember the words ragno, regno, impegno, agnello. Montagna, gnomo, bagno, cigno, stagno. Yeah? <laughs> no, my brain stopped working. <laughs> it's really that difficult. <laughs> but it's okay, it's okay. You guys don't need to learn about all of this for now. What I want you mainly to remember from this little poem here is just those words. Those words. Ragno means spider. Regno means kingdom. Impegno means commitment, apparently, from Google. Agnello means lamb. Montagna means mountain. Gnomo means dwarf. Bagno means bath. Cigno means goose. No, not a goose. I just realized what is a cigno? A cigno is a goose, right? <laughs> A swan. Hey, it's not a goose, it's a swan. 
Sorry, my bad. I wrote, why did I thought it was a goose? Well, whatever. And Chenya is a goose. No, no, sorry, it's not a goose. It's a swan. It's a swan. It's a swan. Yeah, Chen a oh, goose is orca. Sorry, my bad, my bad. <laughs> it's a swan. Nello stagno. Stagno just means pond. Mm hmm. Sorry, I just reached back for it. It's okay, it's okay. I'm just reading them for you guys to write it down. Yeah? Write it down and then just do, uh, put the translation right next to it if you guys need it. Yeah? Yeah, it's very good. Uh. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> all, I, all I want you to do is just try your best. You guys tell me when you have written those words. Yeah. And then I'm gonna give you the translation one by one so you guys can still remember about it. Yeah. Let me know when you have written them down if you want to written them, write them down, of course. It's totally fine if you don't want to. It's totally fine if your brain is burning. Because today's lesson is not learning how to read. Today's lesson is nya 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 nya. This is just a small uh, introduction to show you guys what you are going to have to face. It's really intimidating, isn't it, to you right now? It's like, oh my god, this is so scary. But it's okay, it's okay. Like, after a while, after a while, once you learn enough uh, vocals and letters and all of that, you are going to learn what they are. What is Nyomo and Banyo? Okay, so you guys have written them down, okay. Then I'll give you the translation one by one again. So, ragno means spider. Regno means kingdom. Impegno means commitment, apparently from Google. I'm, not, I'm still not convinced by that one. Agnello means lamb, the baby goat, or the baby sheep. Montagna means mountain. Gnomo means dwarf, the tiny people. Yeah, the seven dwarf from uh, um, from Snow White. The seven dwarf from Snow White. Yeah. <coughs> and then we have bagno, which means bath. The bath that you just lay in there and take a nice warm bath, floating in the water. That would be very good right now, actually. It's so cold. <laughs> Chinyo is swan. And stagno means pond. Stagno. Yeah? <laughs> what, is your, what, what is your question? <laughs> what is your question, Hua <laughs> Xue? So are you guys catching up? Like for now, you don't need to learn how to read how to read this little song, this little child's song. But what I do need you to learn right now is the nya 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 and those words, yeah. Ah, some use. It's a it's a it's a sound. Nya 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 nya. It's a sound. 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 It's just a sound. Like right now, I'm just teaching sounds. Yeah? So you can see here. Ra. If you just say ra, it doesn't mean anything. If you just say nyo, it doesn't mean anything. But you put them together, ra nyo, it just becomes a bird. It's just a sound. Nya 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 in the future, how to pronounce them too? Right, A O. Hmm, no, not really. So, alright. The thing is, in Italian, we have 
alarm. So, 母音就是 a, a, e, o, u. Yeah, 这些是母音。但是你就只有母音，你不可能能说出一个字来的呀，不可能说出一个名字来的呀。那你需要什么？ Vowel, the, the consonants. What are consonants? Consonants are like C, B, D, F, G, H, etc., etc., etc. Yeah. These five are consonants. These are consonants. Yeah. You put consonants and consonants together, it will become a syllable, a sound, a sound. For example. 卡，呀，你就有卡，你就有 c h e c 你就有 actually no this is bad， 呃，不要用 c because c is a little bit weird for those who do remember who have followed the last previous lesson you know that c is a little bit weird the letter c is a little bit weird in Italian so let's change it to b， 呀，你就有八，你就有 b， 你就有 b， 你就有 b， 你就有 b， 呀，但是这些。他们就是只有八倍比，不过你也是没有，不会造出任何字的呀。但是如果你说好，那我就要倍，我把它写成两次，呀，咦，就是贝贝，贝贝，你查一下名字，宝宝，宝贝，小孩子，一个婴儿，你查贝贝，用贝贝，呀，呀 ，so what year is Nia is just a weird situation of consonant that has two letters. A consonant that has two letters, yeah. Because if we have a consonant that is G L, then we pass a vocal which is A, E, E, O, U. Then we have Nia 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 Nia. Then we have Nia Nia. Ni, nyo, nyu, and those are this. Those are the syllables. Those are the sounds. Does that make sense? Then let nyo mo igu os garden nyo. Red hat little man, yeah. 小矮人，小矮人。嗯哼，啊。Snow White's Little Dwarf. Yeah, peep. Drop in front of you second. Then I go back to my work. Okay, my dear, I'm stuck on my laptop. Only miss forty percent. I can hear you hardly. Oh, baby, try your best. <laughs> so is that? Did I did I answer your question? Hua Xue. Hmm. Did I answer your question? So remember, those are vowels. Mu Ying. Then you have consonants. 写字，母音加字 equals syllables， 一个声音，声音加声音，再加声音或者更多的声音。来、like、，at least 你最需最少需要两个 syllable， 两个声音才能造出一个字，一个呀， yeah, 一个东西的呀。Yeah. For example， 贝贝。所以 ，vowels plus consonants equals syllables， syllables plus syllables equals words。What we're learning right now is just nya 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 nya, which is a syllable, a combination between a vowel and a consonant. Hmm. Maybe that was a bit too fast. It's okay. It's okay. Just learn. Just all you need to know right now is that we are learning about syllables, about how to pronounce words, about the sounds of words. I used to have a dictionary to learn Italian. Maybe not if I was too lazy. Oh, baby. <laughs> it's okay. It's totally okay. I don't expect you guys to try to learn everything in one day. That's why I'm taking it very slowly. All I all I ask you is not even to learn it. But at the very least, understand what I'm saying. Because if you understand what I'm saying, then you have understood how it works. And once you have understood how it works, you're gonna learn it automatically on your own. Like I don't even need to teach you how to do it, and you're gonna learn about it.
，就觉得学不起来了。啊<笑>、uh, ，It's okay. Well. 嗯，你们可以不补其他的，但是上次的一个课建议补一下，因为上次是比较重要的呀。Yeah. <笑>上次是比较重要的，因为上次不是也不算是很重要， yeah? 因为这些 vocals plus vowels 这些我会还有做很多的。嗯哼，主要是上次它会有一个特殊情况，就是来 ，actually let me。Do a little real quick recap, yeah. Let's do a little,、uh, real quick little recap. 就先讲一下 ，yeah. So, for example, vowels. 你有 vowels 吗？你母音 a, a, b, o, u. For example, I take any letter. 我选择任何一个字。我选择 m, yeah. M. Pop, 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 pop. 这些就会变成 m. Me, me, mo, mu. Why? Because mu is a, a, e, o, u. If I add an m, it becomes ma, me, mi, mo, mu. But Italy has some words that are more special. Some words are like c, c, h, g, g, h, n. S C, yeah. Then you have like the S C, yeah. 他们的情况有些特别。S C 主要问题是因为它还是有个 C 在这里的，所以只要学会 C 就行了。So for example, 如果我拿了七，为什么我刚才不想拿七？因为如果我拿了七的话，那就是你看它就是变成为卡、切、起、可、苦。卡、切、起、可、苦。Instead， 卡、切、起、可、苦，它不是卡、切、起、可、苦，而它是会变成卡、切、起、可、苦。That is the only reason I wanted, uh, I wanted you guys to learn that mostly because it is different. It is different. 在任何情况下都是 R A E O U， but here it is a little bit different. The G, K, the G, Q, the N. Yeah. And for example, G H, it has no ch. Hmm. But it has, it has no ch. Because in Italian, G H, it has only in this here. It has only here. It doesn't exist. Because you add the G H, it will become K or K. Yeah. It will become K, 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 K
ragno. Sai come va? Regno. Regno. Third one. Impegno. Impegno. Fourth one. Agnello. Remember when there's double L, the L sounds is longer. It's not agnello. It's agnello. It's not agnello. It's not agnello. It's agnello. Agnello. Then we have montagna. Which are the mountains? Montagna. Montagna. Then we have gnomo. 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 <laughs> the little dwarves. The seven dwarves from Snow White. And then we have bagno. Bagno. Bath. And we have cigno. Cigno. The swan. And then we have stagno. Stagno. The pond. Everything need my brain storage and my brain storage is currently 90%. Using 10% less is for Italian. Is it enough? <laughs> it is enough. Because you just have to remember when you because it's all schematic. It's all schematics. Italian is very simple. You have vowels, A E O U. Then you have letters. Mame mi mo mu, babe bi bo bu, kak um la le di lo lu, na ne ni nyo nu. It is all the same, except for the uh, for the C and the G. Those are the only two letters that are a little bit different. Ragno, regno, impegno, agnello, montagna. In trying to put um, the accents in gel, this one the same one my teacher used to use with us on nostalgic. <laughs> I am trying to teach some babies. <laughs> Set the normal. Very good. But you have to remember, uh, Chishana, when we are talking about plurals, from the O turns into E. So, set the mi, mi. Ragno, very good. Ciao. Regno, very good. Impegno, very good. Agnello, very good. Montagna, good. That's right. Gnomo, bagno, cegno, stagno. Very good, you got it all right, Joel. Very nice. <laughs> I feel like my data is flying on my keyboard. <laughs> Try your best. Set the gnomo, yeah, I forgot that again. It's a little bit funny, Shikana. When, when, at least, at the very least, it's not wrong. What you're trying to say, it's not wrong. That it's incorrect, it's not grammatically correct, but logically it is right, it is correct. So that's the most important, fun, important thing. As long as what you're trying to say is being delivered, then it's good. Then about grammar, we can work about it in the future. But as long as what you're trying to say is correct and people can understand what you're saying, then it's totally fine. That was a cat hair. <laughs> So yeah, now let's keep on going. Let's keep on going and learn about more words, shall we? Now we have the second exercise. The second little exercise. Here you have five words. Yeah, five words. Five words that you have to fill in with nya 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 nya. So those. Those, 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 and those. Yeah. So the five words that you have to fill in with. Nya. Oops. Nya. Nye. Ni. Nya. And uh, new. Yeah. And those are the nya 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 nya. So I'm going to give you five minutes to fill them in. Yeah. So try your best. Hi, Guagua, welcome. Welcome, welcome. So yeah, you guys, try to fill them in. I'm gonna give you five minutes. <laughs> Wanna drink some water? It's <laughs> an ASMR.
Hey, I know you're enjoying this. <laughs> pretty much, yeah, pretty much. So I'm gonna give you guys five minutes to fill them in. Totally fine, totally fine even if you go blind. Just remember. Italian is a very phonetic word, a uh, phonetic language. It really puts emphasis on the sound, the words. So I'm gonna read it real quick. You guys try to catch it. It's just a little help. You still have to try to guess it. Tra i rami di, una cast di un castagno, un ragno tesse la sua ragnatela e l'agnello pascola sulla montagna. Where can we find these class materials? You can find it anywhere. You can find it on the internet. It's everywhere. But I don't suggest you to try to learn on your own. You can try to uh, have more materials about the subjects I taught you, but I don't suggest you to try to learn something that I haven't taught you yet, that I have not taught you yet, for the simple reason that it can be overwhelming. When you're, gonna, when you're trying to learn something that your current level is not ready for, it will be very overwhelming. So, I don't suggest you to try to find more material. You, you can definitely find more material for the... Uh, Lessons I already gave you, but don't find material for the lesson that I have not given you yet, because that will turn into very, very over. That can turn very overwhelming. I don't find exactly the one you use for my notes. Oh, I think it's okay. Then I'm just gonna. I can just def I can just paste them on um, on the Discord server if you guys need. <laughs> You just ask me, I'm gonna post it, to, uh, post it for the, for you guys. Uh, wait, you guys let me know when you're done. Finish? Okay, nice. Let's wait a little bit longer for everyone to finish. <laughs> By the way, I am looking at this picture and it's like, what is this thing? It tells me there's a nya 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 inside here, but I don't recall any word that will describe a, a cow, a buffalo. A, a, what is this thing? <laughs> I actually don't know. <laughs> Castagno? Ragno? Ragno te o no 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 Montagno? You got two wrong. Ah, you got two wrong. Tra i rami di un castagno. Sorry, hold on, give me a second. Alright, I'm back. So, tra i rami di un castagno. Un. Ragno Tesse la sua ragna tela Oh, very good You got it right, Shoshana, very good Ragna tela L'agnello Agnello Pascola sulla montagna Y'all, you should have paid attention. We had montagna previously. <laughs> we have the montagna up here. Montagna. It's the same one. <laughs> I'm pretty good. It's still pretty good. This is mainly like what I'm trying to teach you right now is mainly have you understand more words. Expand your vocabulary, learn more words. So that is very much all I'm doing. You can understand how to pronounce things, how the sounds are, and just expand your vocabulary. So, tra i rami di un castagno, un means a, so uno, yeah, uno equals one, 
But we don't say uno castaño. Uno castaño. That sounds like it doesn't sound good in Italian. So we just say un castaño, un castaño. Yeah. Tra rami di un castaño, un ragno tesse la sua ragnatela. L'agnello pascola sulla montagna. Yeah. So this one was kind of simple. Mm -hmm. Just remember the sound of yeah, 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 yeah. By the way, I am still seeing all of this picture and I'm so confused about Okay, quella nella bagna. Like this picture, what what are the words for those? <laughs> I actually can't think of them. <laughs> what is castagno? So, castagna, in, it in Italian, when you are talking in feminine, so castagna is the chestnut. So, give me a second. Oops. Okay, come on. Castagna. With the nya, the feminine, you guys remember, a. Is feminine so castagna in feminine is the little the little the little ball yeah the little ball here I know it looks like a butt I know it looks like an ass I, I know it looks like an ass <laughs> but that's how chestnuts are look like when they are they have their shells Okay, let me put one that looks that doesn't look like a bell, yeah? So when you're talking about castagna, it's chestnut. But when you turn it into the O oh, to masculine, castagno. Yeah? When you turn it into castagno, it turns into the tree. The tree. That is the tree of the chestnut. <laughs> the castagna is the fruit. The castagno is the tree of the chestnut. Yeah? So when this part said, oops, sorry. Tai rami di un castagno. Why is there the why is there a picture of a tree? Yeah, because it tells about the tree of the chestnut. A rambutan. Oh, hey, I tried some rambutan in the past. They're pretty good. I like them. They're pretty good. Juicy and crunchy. Sorry, I just hit the microphone with my uh, with the pen. <laughs> yeah, this is so exactly. This is why we have the picture of. Is the background music gonna be too loud? Hold on, give me a second. Okay, no. That is why we have the picture of a tree here instead of the chestnuts un castagno castallo what did you just google something weird Oh Lord, are you talking about the little, the little thing? C'era una volta il castello di Castagno. That's a little story. The ca it's not castello, castello, castello. That was not this part of class. <laughs> it's okay, broccoli. No, wait, castello. No, I, no, no, Google, just think. Un castagno castallo. What does ca there's no word as castallo? <laughs> what does castallo mean? Because <laughs> castallo is more of a surname than anything else. There is castello, which means castle. Ca castello, which is yeah, the castle. Yeah. 
Castello is the castle. <clears throat> no, 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 no. That it's Castello. It's a Castello. There's no such word as Castello. Castello is nothing. Now you can see how you just change one letter and it turns completely different. I wait a one, a one one three. The we tree is albero. Do you remember? Albero. Tree is albero. This albero just means any type of general tree. Yeah. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> Albero. <laughs> Un castagno su castagna nel casello. Una castagna su castagno, magari. Maybe you wanted to say, because what you're saying, K, is you have a chestnut tree on a chestnut inside a small, adorable little house. Castagna albero equals castagno. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, good. That's good. That's that's correct. Logically, it's correct. Grammatically, it's not, but logically, it is correct. <laughs> the grammar is wrong. <laughs> but it's right. Albero. <laughs> not <laughs> Albreo. <laughs> it's okay. I understood that anyway. Like, I can understand when it's a typo because like they're, they're clips. <laughs> like, it's relatively close. But it's not bad. G uh B G yeah. <laughs> so look away. It's okay, it's okay. But having said that, I have prepared another law. Oops, this one. Yeah? Ooh, I just hit the microphone again, sorry. Hey. Okay. There we go. Oh my god, just realized what this thing is. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna give it to you guys right now. It's called the new. Lo new. Like, there are really few words that only has one syllable. The new is... It's not originated from Italy. The new is like a type of cow or bovine from the Indians. Was it the Indians? I don't remember. Okay. Yeah, the new. It's the... Oh, it's actually an antelope. It's not a bovine. Oh, that's new to me. It's an Af uh, Eastern and Southern Africa. It's an African bovine. No, an African antelope. It's not a bovine. I always thought it was a bovine. Like, the word is not originated from Italy. That's why it's a bit weird. You just have to remember, words that are not from originated from Italy are always going to be a little bit weird. I haven't said that. Yeah? Ah, Bagnano? 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 Oh my god, who calls it Bagnano? Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's scratch this one also. Okay, so what you guys are gonna try to do now is just aim exercise as before. Sorry, my bottle is stuck between my. Yeah, okay. A wildebeest, yep, a wildebeest. It is in Africa and Southern Africa, because you have to remember, Italy is quite close to Africa. And for the fact that Italy has tried to conquer Africa for so many times, yet failed, we had seen a new before. But we have uh, adopted the local language instead of like trying to create a new name for it, like the British. <laughs> so in this case you know, you just new 
but in Italian they are really like if it's originally Italian, if it's originally Italian word, at least I don't remember any words that have only one syllable. Yeah, it is because it is not an originated Italian word that it has only one syllable. But having said that, I want you guys to do this little exercise again. Yeah, if you paid attention, you know. If you paid attention, most of this you already know. There's probably gonna be one, two, three, four, five. Okay, you have five chances to get an error. Mm -hmm. You have five chances to, to get a mistake. Because. The rest are pretty easy. The rest, you if you paid attention, you shouldn't mess up. If you paid attention, the rest you shouldn't mess up. So, just like before, I'm gonna give you a little bit of time to make them. I'm gonna give you a little cheat, where I'm gonna pronounce them real fast. So, let's start, shall we? I'm gonna wait for you to write them down. Give you a minute. And now I'm gonna pronounce the names. And you can try to you can try to just not listen to my pronunciation and just like try to guess them, try to use your own intuition to guess them, or you can just like listen to what I'm saying and just try to understand what which syllable I'm using. Yep. Yeah. And I think time is up. So no, no, time is up. Like the time for me to read the name is up. So let me get the names. Yeah. The first one, Agnello. Second one, Castagna. Third one, Usignolo. Fourth one, Cagnolino. The fifth one is the new, of course. So the sixth one is Cicogna. Yeah. Seventh one is Cegno. Eighth one is Brugna. Ninth one is Ragno. Tenth one is lasagna, and the eleven is piña. So I'm gonna give you guys a little bit more time to finish what you're trying to write, and uh, I'm gonna go. Mm -hmm. Take your time. That's really fine. One more time, please. Not yet, Shelly. We have not yet started to give the answers. I am just giving you a small help. Mm -hmm. Not the answer. <laughs> lasagna only knows this one. Maybe I have not had a lasagna. Sorry, I was stretching. Uh, one more minute. <laughs> Gel, you already had a type again. Okay, one more minute and then we start. <laughs> there we go, okay, let me check. Agnello, right? Castagna, right? Usignolo, right? Cagnolino, right? New Cicogna, Cigno. Prugno, mmm. Ragno, lasagna, pigna, mmm. Very nice. Agnello, castagna, usignolo, cagnolino, new, cicogna, cigno, prugna. Very good. Ragno, lasagna, pigna. Lasagna. <laughs> Anello. Oh, castagna, usignolo, cagnolino, new, cicogna, cigno, prugno, ragno, lasagna, pigna. Good. It's hard, I know it's hard, baby. <laughs> but it's okay. 
That was sus. Which one is sus? Agnello, castagna, usignolo, cagnolino, gnu, cicogna, cigno, prugna. Mmm. Agna. Lasagna, pigna. Pretty good. So, the first one is Agnello. That you guys already got it right. So, very good. Second one is castagna. Why? Because it is a fruit. Remember, in Italian way, it's usually the fruit of a tree. It is feminine. 如果是一个树的果子,它是女性,所以是castagna. Yeah. Then we have usignolo. Very good. Most of you got that right. I was actually impressed. Cagnolino. Oh. Cagnolino. Which the root is cane. And do you guys remember? Ino, ano, etto, accio. But because it doesn't sound good when it's when we call it canolino, canolino. <laughs> because the root is cane. So if we say canolino, it sounds it doesn't sound good, it doesn't sound cute at all. That's why we add a little G here. Yeah, we add a little G here. That in turn is cagnolino. It just means a little doggy. Yeah? <laughs> yeah? So it's cagnolino. It's not cagnolino. <laughs> it's not can. Ca, ca, ca. Cagnolino. Then we have cicogna. Yeah? Make sure you got it right. You have to remember. When it is only one, when there is only one, you only have to bother about masculine or uh, feminine or masculine. A is feminine or is masculine. A is feminine, plural, and is feminine and plural. E is masculine and plural. Yeah. So all of those are only one. And actually, I just realized there are two of them here. So give me a sec. I think somebody actually got Chikonye. No, not Chikonye. Sorry, my fucking bad. Oh my god, I'm stupid. Chikonya, Chikonya, ah, Chikonya, my bad, my bad, my bad. <laughs> Chinye. Chinyo, Chinyo. Chinyo. Actually, is it chin or chin? This is one of the situations where it's wrong. Chin. Yeah, this one is actually, I just realized there are two of them. So it's not chin, it's chin. That is actually my bad. I did not realize that. And then we have actually more than one. On those fruits, so it's prugne. Then we have ragno, lasagna. Like here, the lasagna situation is a little bit weird for the simple reason that, uh, like you see many layers, yeah, and you think, oh, so that is multiple lasagna. But the thing is, the lasagna is a whole combination of the whole thing. Like if, for example, you have a giant tray, and all of this is a lasagna, all of this is together, that's one big tray of lasagna. But if you cut it into small pieces, yeah, every individual of those things, every individual block, every individual cube, individual square, that is one lasagna. And so you have a plate of lasagna here, a plate of lasagna here, a plate of lasagna here. In that case, it's lasagna. Yeah? And here we only have one plate of lasagna. And then lastly, we have piña. Remember, if it's the fruit in Italian, usually it's feminine. What if there are two pieces of lasagna? In that case, it's lasagna. If there are two pieces, in that case, it is lasagna. Oh my god, why there's so many cat hairs? 
That becomes lasagna, exactly. But because there's only one, that's one lasagna. Like until like even this one lasagna, if you cut it in two, oops, if you cut it in two, then that's and you put it into two different plates, that's lasagna. Until they are on here, and then that's one lasagna. And I just realized I made another mistake because here there are two of them, one and two. So it's not piña, it's piñe. <laughs> oh my god! Some of you actually got it right. I think somebody actually got it right though. Okay, piña, 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 piña. I know nobody got it right. I thought somebody got it right. So, do you guys need a little refresh? I did that with Von Delamal. That's not... I mean, most of it, it was also my fault because I didn't even bother to think about plural and singular. I was just trying to... I was just thinking about making you guys expand your vocabulary. So, it, also, it was my fault. So, let's not count those that I forgot. For example, Cigne, Brugne, and Pigne. Like, those three... Definitely, I got it wrong too. <laughs> so those feet, we don't count. The rest of them, are pretty good. It's okay. Lasagna in Italian because lasagna in English. Well, the thing is, lasagna is an Italian word. The English have adapted to the word lasagna. <laughs> and then you have some people who just take it and don't even pronounce the nye, they just call it lasagna. And I'm like, it's lasagna, it's not lasagna. <laughs> but having said that, we we'll still have one hour of time. And I actually wanted this, uh, this lesson to be a little bit short, because I realized that a lot of you have many, many questions. So I wanted to dedicate this little hour for you guys to ask all the questions you had. Like even the past things, even the things from the past. I won't try to tell you anything new because I just mainly want to clarify some questions you have from before. So let's take this, take this hour and, um, and take a time, yeah? If you have any question that you never understood, if you have anything that bother you but you never had the chance to ask, right now is the chance for you to ask it. Hmm? I'm this way. <laughs> Baby. What do you mean by 单字? What is Danzi? <laughs> That's me, Shushana. You get used to it after a while. You get used to it. But yeah, if you have any question, ask right. Let me drink some. Oh. <clears throat> Translate all those words you just taught. <laughs> Alright. I mean, the picture are pretty simple. Actually, hold on. I never remember how to call Chikonya in English. A stork. That's such an ugly name. A stork. Okay, so, first one, Agnello, is of course, Lamb, I already taught you guys before, Xiao Yang, Xiao Mian Yang, Yu Yang, Yu 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 Yang, yeah. This one is Castagna, Li Zi, yeah. The chestnuts, Wu Zignolo, is a type of bird, it's a specific type of bird, it's a species of bird. That we that is very popular, that is very widespread in Italy. Lusignolo. The little bird that goes. <laughs> the little birds that go just like singing in the morning, first thing in the morning. Yeah, those are Usignolo, Usignoli. 
And you have Cagnolino, a little dog, because you guys remember cane means dog. And ino, ano, etto, accio, yeah? Those are all the alternatives that you can add to a name to change it. So cagnolino means a little doggy. New is a new, is a wildebeest. And then cicogna. Cicogna is a stork. Cicogna is the stork. Cigni is multiple swans. Prugne are prunes. Ragno are spiders. Lasagna is lasagna. And pigne are pines. The pines, not the pine tree, the pines, the fruits of the pine tree. Because if you want to call the tree, it's written as pino. And the pine trees are the Christmas trees. You guys know? Yeah, the Christmas tree. The pine trees are those trees that you have around Christmas, you put things on top, yeah? That is the pine tree, Pino. Mm -hmm. The question about double L again, you pronounce it as L or Yo. It's L. It's not Yo. <laughs> it has never been Yo. For example, we have Palla, yeah? Palla. Which just means ball, yeah? The beach ball, yeah, maybe you have the beach ball here. Let's put a little umbrella here, so no, it's the beach ball, yeah? Palla, it's not paya, <laughs> it's palla, palla. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, cause I need the uzignolo, you know? Tanyolino, shall go, new. Okay. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you for the translations. Why some word wild me? Like, or, or, or. Indo Chino is like, but it's not the same. Or, or, or. So one is or, or, and the other one is or. Yeah? Or and or. But it really doesn't matter. In Italian, it actually really doesn't matter, Zoe. Like the O, the O. In Italian, it doesn't matter compared to other languages. Like it doesn't matter that much compared to other languages, compared to like, for example, French, which is very, very much a pain in the ass when it falls into uh, to accents. But uh, in Italian, it doesn't, it really doesn't matter. Like, you don't even need to bother with those. Like, you really, you really don't need to bother with those. You don't need to bother with those in Italian. Because Italian, for these things, it's not very strict. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. You just have to remember that the O sound is O. You can have like the O or like the O. But it doesn't really matter. It's okay. <laughs> no, it's not an accent. Oh man, I hate the accent. So the thing on top will matter the pronouns, but will it matter on the meaning? In very few cases, yes. Although, it's like... So, do you guys remember about this? When you say Papa, it means Pope. Or when you say, oops, Papa, that means Dad. But either you write it as Papa, or Papa. <laughs> like, no matter how you write this accent, it really doesn't matter. It really does. It really does not. There's no difference. The only difference is that on the second word, on the papa here, the only thing that matters is there is something on top of the R. If there's something on top of the R, then you change the pronunciation and you change the name. But how you write the accent, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if the accent is flying to the left or flying to the right. They are, main, <laughs> they are the same thing. <laughs> this is why I told you guys, from the very start, accents, like those things, things like, uh, like those things, those accents, those different accents, 
in Italian, they don't have value. <laughs> All you need to know is that on top of this, there is something. <laughs> there is something. You can even put your personalized accent, which is, I don't know, maybe let's put a little, put a little star on the A. Ah. As long as it shows that on this, uh, on this uh, letter, the accent falls on this word, the accent falls onto this specific syllable. In that case, then yes, it will change the meaning. But it really doesn't matter which accent you're writing. 是什么 accent 写在上面不重要，重要的只是上面有东西。呀、yeah? ，只要上面有东西，那你就知道这是有区别。但是上面的东西是什么，那就是完全没有区别。你自己也可以直接画个小星星在这上面。只要让别人知道啊、哦，你写的这个字上面有东西，那就是不一样。Just simple as that. 那一啊、uh, ，shit, I cannot read that. Hold on, give me a second. <laughs> That's too much. Right, I need a Google Translate for this one. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Thank you so much, Shana. <laughs> Thank you so much. 只是代表重音吗 ？Yes, exactly. Zoe, it is just representing you put the accent where the other ones are. The other ones don't matter. This is not Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> it's not French. <laughs> French in French, then it will matter. If it's French, it will matter. Fran the French even have this little thing here that I don't even know what it means.、Uh, from Kai Ping Saw, she, uh, come on, Saw, it's written as Kava, but it's pronounced as Saw when you have this little thing down here. But, That's that's just French. French is weird. <laughs> French is a pain in my ass. I don't like French. <laughs> this is the only exception because I only say. Hmm. Most of the time, actually, yes. Like it is such a rare thing in Italian. But the most common one that you see is just father. It's just it's just dad. It's just the world. It's just the words dad, papa, and papa. Other than that, this. Pretty much nothing else, as far as I remember, because all that is just how Italian is. We don't put a lot of emphasis on those accents. We just care about knowing where the accent falls onto which syllable. We don't have like papa or papa or papa. Like we don't have all of those different. It's just papa, papa or papa. Simple as that. That's only difference between those two. I have a question: Is "bono" and "bravo" similar meaning? Hmm. They are very similar. I mean, you can both both of those words can be translated to good, but "bono" and "bravo." Oh my God! Yeah, they can both be translated as good in English, but there is a subtle, subtle, very subtle difference. Bono is more used to describe something. For example, you will never say that this plate of food is very bravo. <laughs> you will never say that the plate of food is very bravo. Although you can still translate it as good, this plate of food is very good. But you don't, you will never say bravo, because you will use buono. Buono is more to describe something. Something is good. Something that tastes good. Something that smells good. Something that makes you feel good. For example, I am thirsty. I need something to drink. Ooh, this cocktail is absolutely good. It's so good. This cocktail. It's a cocktail and molto buono. Well, bravo is more of a compliment. 
Bravo is more of a compliment. I am giving you a compliment. You are a very, you've done something so incredibly good. You are so good at this. Sei molto bravo a fare quel che fai. You are very good at doing what you're doing. So buono is more to describe something, while bravo is more to compliment someone. Mm -hmm. You can even think of bravo as brave. Although that's, that's not... That is not the correct translation. That is not the correct, tr correct translation. But if it helps you remember, just remember that bravo, which sounds like brave in English, it's a compliment. While buono, it just means good. It's something good. It's, it's a descriptive term. It's to describe something. Yeah? <laughs> gravo? No, 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 not gravo. Bravo. B. Bravo. By the way, I'm still waiting for you, JL. You talk about... What do you mean by If you see a performance, you can say it's bravo. You can use... But like, here, it's actually very interesting. This bravo, when you say bravo, you are complimenting the actors. 你在你在嗯你在讚那些演員,在讚那些人,在上面的人. Um, You're saying bravo to those who are performing. But you will never say bravo to describe the show. You will never describe bravo, use bravo to describe the performance. You say that the performance goes Lato era buonissimo. Lato era bellissimo. Yeah? Lato non era bravo because the performance wasn't doing anything. The performance was the result of what the actors did. Yeah? Oh, the words you did. Oh, okay, thank you, Jehovah. Oh, that's what you meant, Nyaroda. Yup, yeah, it's not la zanya. It's la zanya. It's on the second air. It's on, it's on the second air. It's on the SA. La zanya. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's what I just Okay, thank you, thank you. <laughs> like when you, but going back to the first, going back to the bravo and good thing. Like when you're saying bravo, you are complimenting the performers. No, not the performers, the actors. You are complimenting their act. You're complimenting how good they are at doing what they're doing. Yeah? Inevitably, you will also compliment the performers. Because if they're good at doing what they're doing, which is performing, then that means that their performance was spectacular. Yeah? That's why you hear a lot of, in my humble opinion, pretentious people who actually have no idea what bravo means. Just go, <gasps> after like I share, just go, bravo! But like, mm, it's very good, it's very good. Like bravo is much better than, than just clapping because you are actually physically, not physically, but like actively complimenting directly the actors that's how the word that's how bravo got started to be used in um in those performers having said that do you guys have any other questions we still have a more than 35 minutes yeah i almost did what you said <laughs> trust me i know a lot of people hey it's good it's good that you do that because you are complimenting the actors themselves that I feel it's much more respectful. I really like that. But now, at the very least, you also know what it means specifically and what you are doing when you say bravo for performance. You're not saying bravo to the performance, you're saying bravo to the actors. <laughs> because you cannot use bravo to describe, you only use bravo as a compliment. I mean, you can use it as a. Uh, 
word to describe, but most of the time you use it as a compliment. Bolo, I got Jackie Bill and Bravo like a something? No. <laughs> no, sorry, that's not the case. Bono is to describe something. Like they are both adjectives. 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 They are both <笑>你只会对一个人说你做得很好你做得很棒你做得很好你做得很棒你做得很厉害你做得很厉害你做得很厉害你做得很厉害你做得很厉害你做得很厉害你做得很厉害你做得很厉害你做得很厉害你做得
Oh. Ayo, Cheshire. Welcome, welcome. I haven't said that. Do you guys have any any different uh, any more? Oh, hung, Renzang Lao, so cute. Bono almost for something. Bravo for someone, bello. Hmm, bravo, Gunso. Just to say you're very good. Just to say, bravo, just to say you're very good. For example, my, yeah, you paint with a fast brush, bravissima. I just say you paint. 画得很好，呀、yeah, ！你画画画得很快，你很厉害，谁不拉维西吗？呀、yeah. ！但是如果我是想形容你画出来的东西，那我就说会说 bello bello， 除了开低声讲说哎 bello， 呀！你画出来的东西很好。哈哈哈哈哈哈！阿爸你好可爱<笑> ，Thank you。Wait, wait, can I ask you to say sorry in Italian? Because I might need to use it often. Scusa, S C U S A. Scusa, bello. Bello 就是为了形容一个形容一个人的或者一个东西的外表。Bello can be translated as beautiful. Yeah, but it can also be translated as good. Wait, do them so dumb, dumb. Maybe you're probably tired. It happens. It happens to everyone. It happens even to the best of us. Trust me, I feel 24/7 dumb dumb. <laughs> scusa? Yes, exactly. Scusa. Or scusa me. Like scusa means sorry. Scusa me means excuse me. But like if you really translate it literally, it's excuse me. But in Italian, actually means I'm sorry. Because if you want to say excuse me, you say mi scusi. Oh, the voice is very beautiful. Oh, I'm glad I'm glad you like it. I know that you use Google Translate a little bit, but I'm glad you like it. Can you teach us how are you? Come stai? Come means how. Are you? It means stai. Because you have to remember, every verb in Italian has its subject underneath. So, oh, oh, wow, what the fuck? Okay. Come say means how are you? Say voice. What? That's a sosuma. Okay, I see. Oh, baby. Excuse me, means excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Means I'm sorry. The excuse me can also be used in a more formal way. Oh, mi perdoni, mi scusi. Yeah, mi scusi equals excuse me. Yeah. Like scusa. Ooh, shit. Oh my god, what have I done? So let me clean up. So scusa, uh, equal sorry. Mi scusi equals x use me slash very formal way mo way. Off. I'm sorry. Or excuse me. Means I'm sorry. 
just the normal I'm sorry. The informal way. <laughs> it's, it's the way I write, okay? <laughs> so this is how it is. Scusa, just simply sorry. Mi scusi, excuse me, or it's a very formal way to say I'm sorry. And scusa me, it's just the very normal, everybody use way to say I'm sorry. Scusa me. Although I like to always use me scusi. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because I'm old and uh, I am formal, <laughs> especially in real life. Uh, for example, m most of the people I met always on the subways, and like for example, you're on the subways, so somebody steps on your uh, on your feet. Usually, people will say "excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me," and everything like that. If I, for example, step on your feet, I will say, "Oh, me scusi. <laughs> Simple as that. Me scusi. <laughs> and I forgive you or don't worry. Oh, forgive you and don't worry. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of time to copy what you guys want, yeah? Yeah, you download... Excuse me. Oh, yeah, that's very good. Yeah, you can absolutely use it like that, Shoshana. Excuse me, can I Yeah, excuse me, can I pass through? Yeah, very good. That is very good. Yeah. Excuse can be usually like nowadays it's more used as excuse me. But um, for the older generation, such as myself, we was it's a very formal way to say I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna give you guys a little bit more time to write down. And three, and two, and one. And uh, close. And now for the reply to when somebody says "excuse me" or "sorry," yeah. Like usually we don't say uh, "I forgive you" or <laughs> "like I forgive you," because that sounds how should I say? It makes you sounds above them. It makes you sounds arrogant. When you say, oh, you're pardoned, oh, you, I forgive you, <laughs> it makes you sound very arrogant. So what happens is, most of the time we say, don't worry. Which is, um, hey, okay. Like, don't worry, uh, non preoccuparti, non preoccuparti. Preoccuparti. Non preoccuparti. Yeah? Oh, no. Welcome home, Sherry! <laughs> Don't worry, is non preoccuparti. But although that's, that is very long to say, so not a lot of people use that. What we use them is, is, hey, okay, it's okay. Eh, okay. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, like non preoccupate is the most Italian way to say it, but it is so long, it is very long. Yeah, non preoccuparti. Yeah, it's long compared to eh, okay, eh, okay, simple as that. That's like an integration of English and Italian. It's just this one, eh, okay, it's okay. <laughs> Okay, don't don't just say okay, because when you just say okay, it means yes. <laughs> if you just say okay, it means yes. Yeah. When you just when you say okay, it just means yes. So for example, somebody step on your feet, they say sorry, and you say yes. <laughs> That's gonna sound a little bit weird, isn't it? <laughs> so you have to say eh okay or it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Here I will give you its use in fights. Oh, 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 oh. Here, if we fight, we don't say okay. <laughs> Nothing is okay if we fight. You go straight to the fucking. You can say you get arrested immediately. <laughs> and then in uh, yeah, excuse me also can be used to call a stranger like you have something to tell them. Like excuse me, you drop something. Same means excuse. Yep. 
every way that in English you can use excuse me. You can also you can also use you can also use mi scusi. Every way that you use excuse me is the same way you use mi scusi. The only difference from the English mi scusi, uh, excuse me, is that in Italian, mi scusi, which is excuse me in English, can also be used in a very formal way to say I'm sorry. Non, nor, <laughs> non, non. <laughs> all right, all right, I got you guys. Okay, I will try to write better in the future. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try to write better in the future. <laughs> so, like the most common one that you use when somebody say I'm sorry, it's just this one. Hey, okay, and that's it. Simple, quick, easy to learn. <laughs> and so the thing is, I'm writing on a tablet which I'm not really used to. <clears throat> Because like, if I, for example, let me take a paper on the tablet, so I have some traction to it. And uh, I just write it like this. What, seeing, watching, looking at where I'm writing. I'm just gonna like, write something like this. Oh my god. Uh, this is how I write usually. Actually, this still looks very ugly because, like, the thing is, I'm writing on a tablet, so I can't see what I'm writing on. So it looks a little bit weird, but that's how I usually write. Or if you want me to write in stampatello, oh, no, so, no, stampatello, stampato, it's gonna be like something like this. Ugh. No, oh my god, why do I keep writing Stampatella? <laughs> Stop writing Stampatella! I almost can't understand, it's hard, no, it's not, it's not hard, it's just the way I write. <laughs> it's like a signature, do you want my signature? Something like this. It looks so ugly though here. Because I can't see what I'm writing on. Hold on, let me try to at least fit inside. And here. Yeah, here is how I write. How I, how, how I sign things. <laughs> see or call. Oh my god, what happened here? C or call double L in pa double L la. Oh, this is not a fucking E, I'm stupid. And yo, yeah. All in pa la yo. <laughs> oh, as I like to write. I am Mr. Oh my god. <laughs> no. Some of you may know who this is. <laughs> or, for example, it's -a me. Mario. <laughs> but it's actually so hard for me to write on the on the tablet because I am not seeing where I'm where my where like my pen is moving, so I can't really see what I'm doing. But one day, one day maybe I'll learn how to write. Or draw with the tablet, but as for now, um, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> Read the word. I need more time. <laughs> Actually, 
What if we do that little thing? What? You are on me. Can you read it? <laughs> this is an M, it's not an H. Because wait, if I write H, actually the M and H, I just realized my M and H are actually so similar. It's just like the only difference is how high this the line is. If it's up here, it's an M. If it's down here, it's an H. <laughs> Now you want me? Hey. Oh my god. I can't see where I'm writing. <laughs> okay, that's you, mate. <laughs> it's not the same. Because we want to say hi. Can you see the difference? One is me, well, the other one is hey. <laughs> Actually, they do look pretty similar. <laughs> Looks like a musical letter. Do you, do you mean this thing? Oh my god, that's so ugly. <laughs> the violin key. Oh, oh my god. And sometimes I'll write like this. <clears throat> okay, if I actually have to look down. Eee, why is it so ugly when I... It sure looks like that. It looks still. It still looks ugly as fuck. Hey and hey. Now why is May the other one is hey? <laughs> Actually, let me see. How do I write Zay? Oh my god. Are you? I kind of like that. <laughs> Actually, let me get Shoshana. That's Zoe. Shoshana. Oh my god. God, stop moving. Because like the, the why is it moving so much? Because I have a paper, like I have a piece of paper on top of the tablet, which is very smooth and slips a lot. So I can have some traction. So it actually feels like I'm holding a pen instead of just writing on the tablet. So Shoshana. Oh my God, stop that. It's actually pretty hard, I'm not gonna lie, it's actually really hard not seeing what I'm writing while also looking at my hand that is writing. Wait, actually I just realized Shoshana have an H. Oh. Oh, that's gonna be interesting. That's how your name is gonna look like. Because it also has an H, I just realized it has an H. <laughs> Where is the first H? I just realized you also have a first H. <laughs> I just realized that. <laughs> I do that like a big montagna. Hey, that's that's fair. Can you do Jennifer? Sure, let's do Jennifer. Oh my God, hold on. Yep, like I can write, like I can either look at the screen and write horribly, or I can look at the, where my hand is moving and not see where I am writing at. This is the horror, I will almost say, of using a tablet. Okay, I think this is the best you're kind of gonna get, because it's so hard. <laughs> How do you do the big R's? Do you mean the capital R's? Like this. You want a row? <laughs> Here you go, row. <laughs> you want? We still have 10 minutes. Let's have some fun, Ringo. Oh, you want you now? Okay, first let's do Ringo. Ring. Okay, actually I actually have to look down where I'm writing, otherwise I can't see. Eh? 
Do you have actually is it Ringo or Ringuo? Okay, it's Ringuo. Yep, that's Ringuo for you. <laughs> and then got Yuna. Can you see actually? Can you spot the difference? This is a big W, this is a U, this is a N, and this is a A. Yuna. <laughs> Okay, you are Sherry, okay. <laughs> that one is Sherry for you. Can you see the difference? Actually, now that I look at it, this looks like a U instead of like the hug between the two R's. But this is one R, this is another R. <laughs> Sherry. <laughs> Okay, the golden shark. Okay, I'm gonna try to run it, but it's I don't know if it's gonna fit. I'm gonna try my best. And oh my god, you just hit, I just hit my own hand. Okay, so it should start here. How do I start here actually? <laughs> it's a little bit small. I'm trying my best. It's a little bit small. <laughs> but it should be fine. I try not to go too big, otherwise I know that I'm gonna go well out of my other borders. <laughs> okay. Then Iriana. Okay. I can't tell how she's here looks like that. But Iriana, can you see the difference? <laughs> I just realized the way I fucking write is absolutely horrible. <laughs> I just realized it's like you can't you can't read what I'm writing. <laughs> Your hands rise and look surprised and mature, dear. What do you mean surprised and mature? I'm old. <laughs> All right, you want Shelly? Okay. Oh my god, Shelly is with a E or a? I think it was Y. Yeah, Shelly. <clears throat> yeah, and that is Shelly. I just realized that as I run, the way I write as it actually looks like the violin key. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Etta Na 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 Happy Shoshana. It's too bad, but it's not happening. <laughs> yeah, I'm writing Bonnie Siva. <laughs> I just see many. <laughs> that is true. Wait, hold on a second. That is actually true. <laughs> it looks nude. Gel. Okay, gels have both capitals, so. It's gonna be like this because they are both capitals. That's how it's gonna look, gel. <laughs> Oh baby, coming, coming for you, Lucille Hoshimi. Oh my god, that's one long name. Okay, I'm gonna type to okay, Lucille, I think Hoshimi. Okay, oh no, it's under. Oh no, hold on, it's under. No, 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 Lucilla. <laughs> Still. Hi. Oh my god. Okay, Hoshi Mi. Oh, that's weird. Is that. Okay, nice. Alright, your name is kinda long. It's kinda hard. Ding ding. Ding ding with the ding ding, I think. Okay, so it's just an English name, okay? That is one thing. <laughs> Actually, if I were to write it in the same way, hold on, let me see. This is how Tintin will look like. Or... Hold on, no, I don't like that. And am I in the space? Okay. 
go. Either the one from previously or this one. And uh, oh my god, this looks. I keep going out because I can't see where I'm right. Like if I have to write decently, I have to look where my hand is moving. But if I look where my hand is moving, I cannot watch the screen. So, and if I look at the screen, I cannot see my hand. So it's kind of a pain. <laughs> so, oh, thank you. Are your dog is here? You know what? Ooh, that was bad. My hand slipped. <clears throat> Here we go, doggy. <laughs> I had the D as well. Oh my god, you guys are so dirty. You like the D. <laughs> All right, who else has not done it? Okay, Ling Yuna. Okay. Lin. Oh my god. Okay. Lin. Yuna. I just realized the L, the Y, they look so similar. I actually write a lot of letters very similarly. That's not what I mean. Sure. Amal or I. Wait, is Amal inside? Where are you, Amal? Don't be shy. Oh, there you are. Sorry, I didn't see you. Amal. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh? Amal's name is pretty simple. It's four letters. They actually look kind of simple. I'm serious, like the T looks like pure no sauce. Ayo! <laughs> <You know. laughs> Unless we're gonna go with all capitals, which is gonna be It's just gonna look like this, which doesn't look too good. <laughs> actually, this looks worse than the previous one. <laughs> okay, this one looks better actually. <laughs> J energy. Well, you gotta put a little tail, otherwise it doesn't. You don't know which one it is. And it's gonna have the other one very easy. Okay. Joy. Okay. What? Oh. Ew. Ew. Not so far. Come here. <clears throat> yep. <laughs> taco, of course. Alright, let's go taco. Well, actually, taco is with a K, right? <laughs> the K just look like an H. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, okay, the way I fucking write it, it just looks like an edge. I'm giving up. <laughs> and the fucking T actually just look at J. Now actually, this one looks better. There we go. This one looks better. <laughs> Tokyo. <laughs> looks like say Tokyo. <laughs> Ooh, Miku. Okay. Miku. It's been a while since the last time I see Miku. Yeah, there we go. There we go, Miku. Then got Zuzu. This actually looks like Zuru. <laughs> Why is Zuru? <laughs> Why does it look like Zuru? <laughs> I'm trying to write Zuzu in terms of Zuru. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it still like it still looks like Zuru. 
<laughs> I guess that's just the very weird way I write it. <laughs> Zuzu. <laughs> I'm glad you guys enjoyed it though. Okay. Ayano! Ooh, okay, okay. Ayano and uh, Candy Can. Okay. So. Ayano. There is yours. I really like those swirly swirls. I don't know. I really enjoy them. <laughs> sweet, sweet. <laughs> And candy again. Ooh, too low. I just realized. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, okay, cool. <laughs> this is a Christmas gift? No, baby, of course not. You want a Christmas gift? You will get it, baby. When it's Christmas, when it's gonna be the 24th of December, you will have your Christmas, my baby. Miss Tui Tui, nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sure. Hold on, give me a second. <clears throat> my throat is drying up a little bit. So let me just drink a little bit of water. Real quick. Hey, yeah, yeah, qua qua, okay. There we go. So this here. Yeah, that's why it's so simple. Why if I do this? Wait, why am I not? Hello? Oh no. Oh no, it's not responding. The program is not responding. Okay, there we go, there we go. There it is. <laughs> no. Yeah, this one looks a little bit cuter. This one I think looks a little bit cuter. Maybe it like, grinds a little bit better. Yeah, there we go. That one much, looks much better, you yeah? <laughs> know? I'm right, it's good enough for Christmas script? No, baby, I'm gonna give you much more. Sugar? Okay. So, sugar? Ooh. There we go, there you go, sugar. Okay, I want to make food for my brother, and what did I come back to? So writing your guy's name in my horrible calligraphy. <laughs> Actually, come here, Lyra. Yeah. It looks like a double O Yira. It looks like a W Y. A double Y instead of Lyra. But that's how I write it. <laughs> All right, she, she, okay. Ooh. I actually, because like the thing is that the X is not very typical of an Italian. So hold on, let me see. Ugh. Ugh, okay. It's not very typical in an Italian, the X. So I actually have no idea how to write it. Correctly, it's more probably gonna be like something like this. Okay, okay, I'm starting to get the hang of it. Give me a second. Bleh. Okay, I'm starting to get the hang of it. Okay, okay, I'm starting to get the hang of it. It's probably gonna be something like that. I thought this looks like a very weird D. Okay. Yeah, okay, that looks much better. Yeah, yeah there we go, finally got it. That looks much better, I want. <laughs> me, me, Elin, okay. Oh my god, okay, guys. <laughs> I'm a little bit slow, give me a second. Elin, okay. How did I use the right E? Oh my god, I don't remember, actually. I don't remember. Oh my god, how did I use to write the E? Yeah, I used to write it like this. 
This is how you use the Rider E. It looks like a 6. It doesn't look like an E. It looks like a 6. <laughs> gua Gua? Okay, okay. Let's give it on to Gua Gua. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Wait, it's not gua ge gua. Okay, hold on, it's gua gua. Is it gua gua? Hold on, let me check your name real quick. <laughs> okay, gua gua, okay. No, I forgot one important thing. There we go. Yuck, so ugly. There we go. Now that looks much better. That looks so much better. There we go. <laughs> Auto G. I put one extra. <laughs> okay. It looks like a G to me. <laughs> it's an E. It's an E. Trust me, it's an E. This is how a G looks like. This is how a G looks like. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let me see. Did I miss somebody? Oh my god, you two, please. Okay. Okay, hello, I was going to get one. Okay. Hina and Saki, you know what? I'll give it up. Yeah. Oh my god. Wow. Oh my god, I made the freaking paper slip again. Is it with a K or the is it with a K or the normal C actually? Asuka, Asuka. Why are you Asuka? I lost you. Asuka with a K, okay. Blech. So ugly. <laughs> it's not a C, it's a now. There we go. Asuka. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, you, there's no way you can fucking read that. <laughs> oh my god. Hina and Saki. Okay, I'll give priority to those who are here though, okay? Guys, I'll try to give priority to those who are present right now, okay? So, because you guys are asking so, so many people are asking right now. Can that look at? What's that look at? Can I roll? Uh, 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 okay. So Hina and Saki. Hina? Oh, you know what? 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 Oh, yeah. Hina? Yeah. Yeah, I can't do that anymore. <laughs> yeah, you know what? <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. I'm trying to, I'm trying to write it while looking at the screen, so it's a little bit difficult for me. <laughs> Listen, you guys put them together, I'm gonna give them together. <laughs> hey, that's adorable. <laughs> Alright, so we want one for slow, yeah? Alright, so slow. Oh, the W in... Oh my god, the W is a little bit weird. Because you have to remember, there are letters in, that we don't have in Italian, so I'm not really used to writing them. S such as the W. So, slow. <laughs> I'm probably gonna have to... Yeah, it looks kind of weird. You know what? I'm just gonna do it like this. 
Good enough. That's a slow. <laughs> That's a W. <laughs> because we don't really have any cursive in English, which represent the W. So it's I don't know how to try it actually. <laughs> okay, you want matcha? Okay. There we go. <clears throat> Matcha's one's very easy. No weird letter, it's trying to be Cuban. May I have one too? Of course, my dear Ayash Kiku. No. Let's get Mina and Saki together. It's not Mina, Hina. <laughs> okay, Aya. Okay, Aya K. She can't. Okay. Aya K. Kun. Oh, it's not Kun. Okay. Can you read it? Ah, uh, yeah. This is a K ka. Hey, hold on. Ka. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay, your name is a little bit difficult here. Okay. There's a little bit of difficulty here. We're stepping up into the difficulty. Ah. Uh, wait, hold on. Ah, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Ah. Uh, Shay. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, yeah. Yeah. She. Kun. No, Kun. Stop writing the Kun. Ah. There we go. Your name is a little bit long, my dear. Ah, yeah, Kashkun. This looks like a very big ass, but it's okay, okay? <laughs> Yours is actually quite difficult, oh my! Because usually in Italian we don't really have those kind of words. So this is a little bit difficult, I hope you like it. <laughs> Time to begin with, give Cheshire please. Cheshire, my boy, you want one? Cheshire, yeah. Alright, ooh, the paper is slipping. Okay, a second. Cheshire. Maybe you can see that. Call him Ayakashiku me. Oh, Gabashiku. Oh, Gabashiku. I like that. Come on, baby, let's give me a hug. Why is it? I don't know. Is it because I'm fond of him? I'm able to catch up with the stream. I'm sitting here and chilling. Call him makes so much. I'm like, oh, baby. <laughs> I'm glad that you can come here and just have fun. That is the best I want. <laughs> Oh, I'm thinking. Is there anyone else who hasn't got their name yet? Oh, damn. Oh, baby, I hope you liked it. Penelope. Okay. I see a name. Penelope. <clears throat> that is quite an easy one. Penelope is a very Italian name, actually. It's quite easy for me, this one. I found this was a class, but turns out we all have a name change. It's not change, my dear. <laughs> Actually, class is done, yeah. So today we're just mostly relaxing, chilling, have a little bit of laugh. <laughs> Still teaching? No, not anymore. The, te the class has already been dismissed, we're just having fun. And she, Lang Fa, oh my god, your is gonna be very challenging. Let me try it. Okay. She, Lang Fa. Okay. You, I, I told you that, that was a try. That was a try. That was not the the the, the, the final one. Okay, hold on. Eee. <laughs> this is a little bit challenging. Not gonna lie. Yeah. No, she. <laughs> Eh, not the best. Nashin. Oh my god. Nah. <laughs> nah, <No. laughs> I messed it up again. Okay. Uh. 
That looks like a horrible R, though. There we go. Your name is very hard. This is actually quite hard. <laughs> Your name is actually quite, quite hard. Rafa! Yes, Rafa! Oh my god, baby. Rafu. <laughs> Fucking Rafa turned into Rafu. That is Rafa's. Actually, I don't like that F. It's so skinny. Why is it so skinny? Bah, stop doing that. Stop. There we go. Oh, that looks much better. <laughs> Rafa tend to laugh. <laughs> uh, and then I saw a name. Rihua. There we go. Another R. A big plump R. Yeah. Yeah, and then we got a big plump R for Rihua. Hi, I am Rafu. <laughs> Yeah, there we go, Rua. Sorry, I didn't see your name before. I was having, I have my head down on the tape on the tablet. That's why I can write. Otherwise, there's no way I can write. <laughs> well, come on, it's okay. It's normal. It's cursive. Most people, if you have never learned cursive, it's gonna be very hard for you to learn it, especially with my handwriting. My handwriting is absolute chaotic. <laughs> okay, let me see. Did I miss anybody else? Okay, who didn't get their name written yet? Who didn't have the name written yet? If you want it, show yourself in the chat. <laughs> Although you have to remember, I cannot write Japanese or Mandarin. I can only write in English. <laughs> Go back to do my homework. <laughs> Try your best, Sushi. Colin, I just realized you wrote my name when I arrived here. I have a new signature right now, yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm glad that you like it. As long as you like it, I'm glad. <laughs> By the way, yeah, we have 70 people here, come on. We have written like 20 to 30, I think. So, who haven't had their name written yet? If you haven't had your name written yet, you want me to write your name, just show yourself and I'll write it. Ooh, I just saw a Moku. Okay, Moku. Okay, Moku, Rihanna. Did I write your words? I don't think I wrote Rihanna. Okay, Moku, Rihanna, Fangsha. Okay, okay. Sorry, Mokus, I'm so sorry, I didn't see it. You wrote it so long ago, actually. I hope you're still here. Yeah. Moku, that's so ugly, what does... <laughs> Guys, you have to think, any inconsistency is because I cannot see what I'm writing, because I have to keep my eyes on my hand, which is looking at the tablet. But to see what I'm writing, I have to look at the screen. So it's kind of a, a, a kind of a mess. There we go. Moku, baby, I hope you're still here. <laughs> and then we have Iriana. Did I write sure? I don't remember. I'm gonna write again. I don't like how it's so trembling. There we go. Iriana. Although, now that I look at it, it looks like Coria... Corionia. Corionie. Corionie. Iriana turned into Corionie. Oh my god. <laughs> Can I paste this when I need to sign an easy issue with pay online? I don't know. <laughs> As long as you don't get me in trouble. <laughs> Let me go fang cha chen. Cha. Okay, sorry. That's too big. <laughs> Actually, no, it's way too far off. <laughs> it's okay. Guys, I can just take it. <laughs> and there we go. <laughs> okay, Rini. Okay, Rini Ayataka. Okay, those two. That is yours, Fangsha. 
And then we got Rini. Hey, why are you not riding? Hello? Okay. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah, oh my god. Rainy. This is yours, baby. And then Ayataka. There we go. Oh no, I did not mean to do that. Oi. Oi. There we go. Nice. Ayataka. Okay, we got Mokus. Do you guys want Mina? First, let me see if there's anyone who's missing. Okay, Erin. Whoa. Okay. Erin, I'm sorry. You're gonna have a six. <laughs> Hold on. Let me try to... Bruh, if I try to write a name in cursive, it looks like a six. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm trying my best. <laughs> this is how it is gonna be. Because your name is very short, very short. And plus, you have an E in front, so it kind of looks weird. <laughs> but to <laughs> <laughs> Hope you still like it. <laughs> I'm on day 11. Oh my, <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so you guys want Mina? Okay. Mina. Oh my god. <laughs> what am I writing? What am I writing? Jesus! <laughs> there we go. You know what is very simple? It's very short. Maybe Pai Meleta. Oh lord, Pai Meleta is gonna be a little bit hard. <clears throat> Hi, welcome, welcome, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's M. <laughs> it's an M. <laughs> Mina, come and learn how to sign. <laughs> Okay, so we want Pai Meleta. That's a long one. Okay, so. Okay, how many hours are there? Pai Meleta. Okay, hold on. Let's see, see here, like technically those would be together, but the thing is I can't see what I'm writing, so I cannot let my hand go. Yuck. Okay. Where's the E though? I missed the E. Yee! It's so hard! Okay, come on, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. Whew. Okay. Yuck. Yuck. What? I hit my hand, sorry. Come on, I can do it, this is hard. There we go. It doesn't look pretty. It doesn't look pretty at all. Come on now. That doesn't look pretty at all. That look much better. Not all the best because I missed this side because I cannot see where I am riding. So actually, let me... That was the last thing I did, so I can still do this. Yeah, that much that looks much better. Okay, so big though. 
<laughs> can we, can we? There we go. There we go. That looks much better. Uh, that looks much better. Still not perfect, but still, at least it's much, much better. The main problem is I cannot see what I'm writing. And when I try to see what I'm writing, I cannot see how my hand is moving. <laughs> I mean, it's okay. Welcome, welcome, Xiaoxue. Wait, how do you write? How do I... Oh, Xiaoxue. Mm, how do I write it? Whoop. Damn, some of you have Mandarin names. I can't write it if you don't have Mandarin names, though. Oh, you have Don't Worry. Oh, Don't Worry. Okay. How do I write your name? Dan War. Double E? Hold on. Am I seeing right? Dan War Ring. Oh, God. This is. This is gonna, this is gonna be. Like, uh, 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 Dan. War ring. Okay, gotcha. None. Okay. This is gonna be a little bit hard. <laughs> is there a G at the end? There is a G at the end. There we go. This does not looks like a W, it looks more like a <laughs> double X. <laughs> Dunk Saring. <laughs> oh wait, it's only one R, two E's. Oh my god, okay, your name is gonna be hard, okay. Hold on. Okay. Down. Wait, don't. Is it John or Dan? Dan worry. Dan worry. Okay. What happened here? <laughs> okay, so it's gonna be Dan. Worry. Uh, double N. Oh my god, your name is actually so hard. Okay. You should be correct this time. Whoa, what happened here? Okay. Let me see. Down. Is it right this time? Give me a second. Dan Wari. Dan War. Rain double double E. One R. All right. Okay. Got it. Oh my god! Finally got it. This one is hard. Oh my god! This one was hard. <laughs> okay. So who are we missing? Who are we missing? Who are we missing? Yao Xue, okay. Oh lord, double X? Double X. Oi, why are you not working? Oh my god. Hello? Oh, okay, there we go. Scared the shit of me, okay. Yao. Yeah. Yak, so ugly. I still have to learn how to write the X correctly. Yeah. <clears throat> Dao Xue. Can I? Ying Ying Ye I have no idea how to write your pinyin though. Okay, those who want to have the name written, please give me your pinyin. And then broccoli. Yuck. <laughs> Yeah, what the fuck? Why do I keep doing free? Oh! oh my god, that scared the shit out of me! <laughs> Thank you so, so much! Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me! Thank you so much for the Thank You for membership! Oh my god, thank you, thank you! I already worried on your names, it gave me quite a problem for your W. So I think you're gonna like it. <laughs> Alright, so broccoli.
Rocket League One is pretty simple. Though it's not, the, it's not the most beautiful, but it's still it's relatively simple. Yue Chu Song Li Wu. Ayo, ayo. Not bad. Freakas B. Oi, hentai. Ooh. And with this, we have experienced some people. Oh, we got Sandy too. Sandy Chen. Okay. Sandy. There we go. And this one's pretty simple. Okay, we got Hui Hui. Okay, so Hui Hui's one. Okay, we're gonna give priority to those who are present. So, no, no, Marlene. Okay. Wow. Oh. This is gonna be interesting. Wow. No. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it looks so ugly. You know what? You go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna give you a little twist to myself. Okay. Okay. There we go. Now we got no no Malin. Then wait wait. Then it's broccoli with two. Oh one C. Okay, no two C. Oh my bad. Okay, so uh, rewrite it. I thought it was two C. Ah. There we go. Broccoli. One C. Alright. Now we got Hui Hui. Yeah, Hui Hui. <laughs> Hold on. I think I think I put one too many. <laughs> like sometimes the thing is. When you write for so long, you kind of like go in automatic. Now we got Hui Hui. It's okay, Sandy. It's okay. It's okay. The, the stream is gonna be saved. You can always go back to the archive and still take it. Yeah? Because you haven't taken it, you can still take it. Yeah, spring. <laughs> oh, baby. Alright, although the tank of a membership, the slow have gave, Jonah, some people, Eleanor, Duck, Judy. Okay. Ooh, Eleanor, I like this name. Although my fucking writing is horrible of this name. <laughs> Eleanor. <laughs> But that duck Yuck so ugly Ah Duck Ooh just realized I cannot move it And what was the last one? Judy Judge Judy? <laughs> Yuck, no. There we go. And Judy. Hey, yeah. <laughs> and there we go. Now let's see. Anybody here? A fun. Oh, okay. It's a fun. Nice. I'm more regal to the Afama. Wait, is it? Is that? Afama, <laughs> <laughs> here you go, baby. Ah, yo. Yo. What is that? I cannot read that. 
<laughs> I can already that hiya <laughs> Merry Christmas Oh do you guys want a Merry Christmas? Okay let's do a Merry Christmas and let's stop it for today yeah because we have been messing around for an hour and a half now <laughs> So let's do it last time Let's give everybody a Merry Christmas Bua. Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year. <laughs> we found half uh, your honor. <laughs> we have finally found her. And thank you so much, Asuka, for the 15 of. Uh, <coughs> for the. Super chat, yes! Fuck, I forgot the name Super Chat. Thank you for the yellow super chat. Since you gave me a present, I wanna give one. Oh baby. Oh thank you so much. It's not Christmas yet though. I haven't said that. Thank you everybody Since you for coming. You gave me a present, so I wanna give you one Lanxing. <laughs> thank you everybody for coming. And I'll be seeing you tomorrow. I have something interesting tomorrow going on, if I remember correctly, yeah. I have something very interesting coming tomorrow. Mm hmm If I remember correctly, and let me check real quick, there should be a little fun game we're gonna, supposed to be playing tomorrow. Ah, yeah, we're gonna do VR. I think you guys are gonna like it. You guys are definitely gonna like it. <laughs> But having said that, thank you guys for coming so much today. We already have been messing around for an hour and a half. I mean, I wanted this hour to be productive. But you know what? Being happy is also very productive. So thank you guys for coming so much today. And I'll be seeing you tomorrow. So, we said that. Good night, babies. <laughs> for those who didn't have their names written, don't worry. Shenanigans like this will always happen. <laughs> So just because this time you didn't get it, you may get it next time. So you guys don't need to worry about it. Having said that, thank you everybody for coming so much. And I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Good night, babies. Good night. <laughs>